Oh, you look so cute. Okay, so seven. Mm -hmm. 7 okay. PM. Seven p.m. I'll be there. We do have to be there early. Probably to get seats. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I haven't made a vlog of me at Virginia Tech in a long time. Basically, after spending time with my brother at JMU, I just spent a lot of time with my family. You miss me? You miss me, mommy? Why not? <laughs> Look, he missed me. <laughs> and then they eventually just took me back. Bye bye. Bye bye, me. Bye, Clive. Bye, bear. Bye, ball. Bye. I didn't think that I missed my family that much until they picked me up. As soon as I saw them, and then just as soon as they just ran out of the car and just said hi to my brother and I, to me that just, I don't know, it just, it brought back this reminiscent feeling inside me that I didn't think was still there. After they dropped me off at Virginia Tech. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I've just been hanging out here for about like a week and a half. I worked on that last video for a good week because I wanted to honor the memory of those 32 lost as much as possible. Hopefully I was able to do that in the brightest light possible for them because I truly feel like they deserve the best. This coming weekend, I'm actually supposed to go to VCU, which is Virginia Commonwealth University. There's no specific reason why I'm going. I just, I've never been, plus it just sounds like a lot of fun to visit. So I just thought, why not? Other than that, I just, I really have to go to class now. funny story um so that bus you saw was actually the third bus because i missed the first two so now i'm like late to class but at least i'm still going thank you just to clarify any misconceptions i'm actually almost never late i know that's hard to believe because i'm always missing buses but that's because i always try to catch like the earliest bus possible just to go to campus just to be early to class. So for me, being early is on time, and whenever I miss the early bus, I consider myself late. If any of that doesn't make sense, I'm so sorry. I'm just nervous because I'm late. The reason why I'm almost never late is because I just really don't like that feeling of when you walk into class and then everyone's just staring at you because they're just distracted by all the noise and everything. So yeah, I'll just talk to you guys after class. Alright, so before I dive into what I was trying to talk about this morning, I just want to show you guys something real quick. That's, that's the building that I had my last class in for today. To touch on what I wanted to talk about earlier, my family actually means so incredibly much to me and I never thought that I would ever miss them as much as I do until I came to college. There was this one time when I was a kid and my mom was driving me to school. Right before we entered the highway, my mom and I got in a huge argument and I completely cussed her out and I yelled at her. Being the smart, brilliant, intelligent kid that I was, I unbuckled my seatbelt, I unlocked the door, and I just jumped out the passenger door. My mom had to keep driving, obviously, because she was about to enter the highway. That's when I realized that I was just being a complete idiot and that I was just being the biggest child ever. As I watched my mom drive off, I just stood there and waited for her to just come back and just pick me up again. In those like five, 10 minutes I was waiting for my mom, that's when I just kept thinking about all the times that I've like mistreated my mom or that I just took my mom and my parents for granted. Now, after five to 10 minutes, my mom came back, she picked me up and then we just kept driving to school. I did this when I was about a sophomore in high school. I guess I just wanted to show mostly my brothers, but also you guys that regardless of however you're feeling about your family now, once you're put into a situation where you live a life without your family, it actually changes perspectives a lot. For me at least, it made me appreciate my family so much more. It made me realize that a life without my family 
isn't what I want at all. The point I'm trying to stress here is that regardless of how annoying your family might be, at the end of the day, you wouldn't want anyone else annoying you. Appreciate your family at least a little bit more. What do you think? Me too. <laughs> so, so ugly. He's kidding me. But you. <laughs> you map, you punch him. No. <laughs> appreciate your parents. Appreciate the things that they do behind the scenes and the things that they do right in front of you. Because you never truly know how much they're doing. Now I just have to go grab food for Nicole. I've introduced Nicole a few times in the vlogs before. Um, I get comments. Bye, Nicole. Bye. Did you have any final remarks? Um, I love Tree. Hopefully you guys still remember her. If not, then I totally understand because she hasn't appeared in the vlogs for so long. A couple days ago, she sprained her foot. And I'm not going to tell you exactly how she sprained it. I'm going to let her do that herself. But the thing is, I'm really worried about her because she actually has a dance performance tomorrow. And knowing her, she's still going to dance tomorrow even though her foot hurts. I'm going to try to deliver food to her today. And I'm going to check up on her, see how she's doing. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully everything's healed up. And hopefully it doesn't hurt as much anymore. Because, I mean, knowing her, she's definitely not going to sit out. So it would hurt me to see her in pain while she's dancing tomorrow. I just have to go pick up food for Nicole. Thank you. Oh my god, you know, thank you. Hello. Oh. Oh. Contrary to what I told you guys this morning, I was actually like about an hour late to the meeting. So I came right as it ended. But I still ran to Nicole. Look, okay, so that's Nicole. Hi. And that's Christy. So I told you guys that I would save the story as to I would save the story as to what happened to Nicole's foot up to her. And so Nicole, you wanna tell them? It's so embarrassing. I was walking to my bus stop. Yeah. And there's a hole. In yeah. the grass that I didn't see, and I fell, and I twisted my foot, and now I'm broken. Oh God, someone's getting killed. Is your foot better though? Yeah, it's so much better. Can you actually dance, or are you lying to me? You're lying. I'm dancing nonetheless. <laughs> I hate. I hate. So that's so dangerous. Yeah, I, got like a I just realized I didn't explain that Christine and Nicole actually had a meeting. I came in late by about an hour, and that's when I ran into Nicole. Oh, you look so cute. So seven? Mm -hmm. seven okay. 7 p.m. Okay. 7 p.m. I'll be there. We do have to be there early to like... Probably to get seats, yeah. Okay. Bye, Bye Nicole. You. you guys heard it from Nicole herself. The performance that she has is tomorrow at 7, which means that I have to get home, edit this vlog as soon as I can, post it as early as I can, and then hopefully be able to have enough storage in order to film for tomorrow for another potential vlog. I'm not going to guarantee anything because, like I said before, I'm not a daily vlogger. But for Nicole and for her performance, this will definitely be worth the all-nighter I'm about to pull. This car about to hit me. I think that's where I'm going to end the vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, it's been a treat.